Hi everybody, Debbie from Deb Sing. Um, this is Bolivia, and any of you who have been on Instagram and saw this design, which I entered in um, Artisan Loom and Car Corey's um, contest, um, is it Polyester Jane, I think is her her tag. Um, anyhow. Um, I explained on Instagram that I named this after my daughter Olivia and her best friend Bella. Bellivia. B E L L I V I A. My original name was Twist and Turn, and you'll probably you know tell the the way the design looks and what I do to the bands, which on this design I think is I haven't seen done before, but uh, I must confess I don't watch enough tutorials of other people's because all the time I have is used or responding on Instagram and making my designs and everything, but I do, I try to um, get a, get at least look at what other people are doing for inspiration and <sighs> see how awesome everybody else's work is. It's amazing. So anyhow, I'm going to be using the same color scheme except I'm going to switch the purple with the blue and then I'm going to give these to the girls and they can pick one out so they're, they're matching but not matchy matchy. Now I thought this was the um, finished design and so there's Olivia so it's two against one. But my husband liked this side. He thought this was a much nicer side. So it's, I guess it's pretty reversible. I wish you could wear it this way because I love, I think the way these turn, it's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now oh, here is one I... I've taken photographs of it. I like it. I mean, it's not my color scheme. I'm not really into warm colors, but um, yeah, I like the colors I used. Use the bronze, the yellow, the darker of the golds, and the fuchsia. Now this one, um, I think it would have turned out better if I used new bands. I used reused bands, so the elasticity was not consistent, and it was a little harder to keep these lined up. So I kind of, I'm not putting this online because I can't photograph it. It looks, it's too messy looking. So look wait. <laughs> That's all you get to see. I had good intentions, right? Okay, so let me see. Um, hold on a second here. What's going on? I have to rearrange my brain here. Okay, since I'm doing this one, you know what? I'll be right back. I've got to make a note of which colors are which here. And I'll be okay, got it figured out. Color A is the silver here and the frost yellow. Color B is the purp is the blue. And then here it's the gold, the stuff that makes like the scrolls on the side. C is its complement, like a color alongside it and going up here. And D is the black and the bronze. Okay, so all I'm doing on this one is I'm switching. So instead of these being blue, these are going to be purple and the purple is going to be blue. Okay? Um, shoot. Okay, never mind. Place one band here for our, you know, holding it all together later on. And then, oops, wait a minute. Oh, I goofed up. Wait, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, my brain gets so confused easily. Okay. Um, placement of the A bands, the center, and the crisscross these here. Just quick straight up. Two center center bars. So this quickly goes straight up. Each one. I don't know if I'm gonna stay on camera and do this or what. Then it always gets me to babbling. I don't like that overstretchy one there. I'll use that for the end. I'm sorry. These are the very end of my silver bands. 
I just don't, when I put one on and it's over stretchy, you know, I save, put those at the end in case it doesn't let, um, so it, the center looks less slop, sloppy. I'm sorry off camera, but I'm just placing these bands. Here I am again, as quickly as I can. I think I have exactly enough of the silver and the black. Like the way that one went on. If not, maybe I'll just make this, you know, one set of pins shorter. Maybe this. Oh, I didn't. I forgot on Juju's bracelet that I just did the tutorial for. But I think this is a full loom length. Or at least this. I know this one is. So it fits my. Little wrist, six and a quarter, bracelet size wrist, fine. I think it's got room for play. Yeah, it's, see, there's some room in there. So, it's not going to be extraordinarily big. But I do believe most people will need the um, full, you know, double loom length to make a full wrap. Unless you're a little kid. And what I do like about the four bar designs, which I, you know, noticed early on in looming, is that if you if you have a way of just buying one extra bar for what, two ninety nine at um on rainbowloom.com, you you can use, you know, the three this and the two little blue ones. Um you can make those three braces work with the four des four bar design. Unless it's like a super, super tight one, and then the loom will tend to want to collapse on you. But other than that, you can do most designs, at least, you know, one loom's length, four pins wide. Why is that not going down? I'm just going to quickly press these down. I'm trying to be high speed here. Okay. Get a little nervous being on camera too long though. Rambling. Okay. The B colored bands, which again, they make this wonderful scroll on the side, are going to look like this. You start here, and you're just going to go up, and I'm probably going to go off camera. I don't know. It's pretty fast. Okay. I find going up one side and the other is more time efficient, just more productive than going back and forth, but you can do it either way. I somehow think I have to race through life even though I'm regulated to being a slow poke. I poke along as fast as I can. Probably isn't to the best of my health, but my brain goes wacko if I don't. I don't know, maybe it would probably be less wacko if I did, didn't. I don't know. Okay, coming to the end. Coming to the end. And then your last one's going to go like this. You good? Vroom. Do it on the other side. I guess that didn't take too long. And y'all can fast forward like I do yours when <laughs> I just want to get to the point. I'm sorry. That's not nice, is it? But you have my permission to fast forward through all my my chattering. Now I get com compliments about it. Oh, it's like we're all sitting together chatting and stuff. But other, I'm sure others are like, I don't think so, Debbie. Just shut up and get down to business. <laughs> okay. But I admire you ladies that can stay on task and like completely you know, stick to the tutorial. And I'm not going rabbit trails. That's why I can't. I have trouble reading. I used to be a speed reader, and I just devoured novels as a kid. But I didn't like how loose that one was. But now I, it takes me 20 minutes to read four pages because every other word, every other sentence, sends me on a rabbit trail of thought. And then I'm like, oh, five minutes later, ten minutes later. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm reading. Oh, where was I again? And I have to find the part where I'm. That's where I left off, or I should remember reading. 
and try again. Then I'm on another rabbit trail. Yeah, so, yeah. Turned into a bunny rabbit. Okay. Now, this is where I, like I said, I haven't watched everybody's tutorials, but I think this is a little different. Whatever the, regardless of if it's a new way of approaching a, doing a stitch or whatever, an adaptation of one, um, it worked for this design. So, you take it, and it's very important because I tried it both ways. And not only do you want your design consistent, but it does make a difference how you twist this. You're going to twist, it's like down or towards you, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> you twist it towards you, okay? And I'm going to use two fingers so I can show it. Then you're going to make it like you're going to do a cap, but you're going to go bring that end up here like that, okay? And I'll go real slowly, twist it towards your belly button, and then, if you can do it one-handed, roll it over like you're going to make a cap. But stretch this end over here. That's what it looks like on the side. Okay. Now, if you're only right-handed or left-handed, I can't help you. Because to me, if trying to do this from the left side, I guess if I turn the um, loom around so I had a better angle, but for right-handed people on this side, you go like this. So you're kind of making a figure eight, bringing it towards your belly button, and then over like that. Twist over like that. And if you're dexterous, use your thumb to make it a cap, but keep going and pull the end over this instead of making a double cap. And you don't want to make a cap, then try to find a band and pull it over because you might pull the wrong one and it'll, it won't be, it might not be right. I don't know. So I'll show you a couple more times, then I'll go off camera because this is takes a little bit longer. Twist toward yourself only, okay? Then use two fingers if necessary. And bring it over. I mean, if you got to use your toes to make it work right, right, it doesn't matter. Right? Or if, if if you're trying to do it all with your hook, whatever works, as long as you do it this way. Regardless what side you're on, you twist it towards your belly button, and then bring it up over the middle pin at an angle. Okay twist toward and then over. Twist towards belly, bring over. Alrighty, that's enough of that. I'll be back. You will do this on all the pins up to where you can't do it anymore because you have this border band here. Now one thing I do is I come through come back on the side and I don't really think it makes any difference because you're going to bring, bring this band up over the pin afterwards but I left two of them on order or kind of messy here like see this one's kind of crossing over I just bring it so the one that stretches out is on the bottom see? and like this one's it's on top so just to keep it a little neater just in case it affects the um, scroll work on the side because it is so pretty. Okay, the final. I think I've got that zoomed in a wee bit too much. The final thing is you're going to do a zig and then a zag. So I'm just going to zig up like this. Actually, I don't think it really matters if you do X or Zig, but it's just kind of easier just to get to this mindset. Just go up. Again, I don't like the loose, the ones that don't have a lot of stretch going in the middle. Save those for the end. Yeah, these are the yin and yang LE bands. 
and they definitely lose their elasticity more than say the black bands um, from the mixed metallics that are the cylind cylindrical ones like this and um, but the reason I did this is I wanted this shiny these are shinier and a shinier finish and I wanted the shine in the middle and I love the um, the new satin black bands they're smaller in diameter so they're not as bulky if you want to um, use these bands somewhere you know these type of bands but not have the bulk and um, just a good one. And so I'm saving the very good stretchy ones because I'm almost out of these. These don't hold their elasticity as well. It's the only thing. So I'm putting the ones with the least elasticity at the ends of the of the design. Oh, it'll be kind of under your wrist and not in case it looks sloppy but it's it's so tight in here I don't really think it matters but you know just being a little bit over zealous in my parameters here I just don't want like a super super loose band in the middle Oops, that really is. Yeah, the consistency of these particular bands is not, is not consistent. <laughs> uh, can't drop in there because they're the only ones I have left, I think, that aren't already been used. I mean, I reuse them like in practice, but they don't hold the design as nicely because of the loss of it. Loss of elasticity. And then like this one, I think it was this band. Yeah, half of it's shiny and half of it's dull. I don't know what's with that, but... I'm sorry I'm off camera, but we're just going up here. Oh, I do have one extra, oh, two extra blacks. Okay. So, that's all the band placement. I'm going to go around, and what did I use? I'm using the purple, so I'll use the purple. Do a cap stretch across these two. Okay, what do I do first? Okay, zig all D1, then zag all D2. <laughs> okay, my instructions say, starting with the one that's underneath, and I chose this way to do it because it's just quicker. So instead of doing XXX, just follow this line all the way up. Boom. And come back and do the the zag after. Actually, this was the zag in placement. Now it's the zig in the wing. <laughs> Did you follow that? Ooh, sounds like cubby's home. Okay. Okay, pretend I finished all that one. Then you're going to come back and do this one because my husband is noisy when he first comes in and putting things away and talking and then I'll have to get back to this when he settles down. I love him, but he's loud. 
guess he gets to be he's a big guy. Okay, so go up, do all of one, and then come back and do all the other. And then we'll get to the fun stuff. Hi everybody, I'm back. And um, I have the center bands finished here. But um, before I continue on, uh, I was, you know, watching the news while I was, oh my God, I'm shaking, um, while I was finishing this up and I was watching like Friday night, Saturday morning, just after midnight, February 6th of Nightline in the United States about a little girl named, um, Nic what was her name, Nicole Level. She's 13 years old and I guess she didn't feel good about herself or something. But she was on these anonymous apps. Um, they mentioned Kick. And she's supposedly dating some older boy online. And he lured her out of her house and murdered her. Her mommy was on television trying to say how special she was, but she couldn't keep talking. So any you kids listening out there, even if you don't feel loved right now, even if your parents are having trouble, know that you're loved and don't let anybody deceive you, okay? You believe in who you are and that you're special. That you're going to grow up to be an amazing human being because we're all created unique and special, okay? Don't let anyone's words fool you or give you a false idea of who you are. Know who you are, okay? I love you all, sweeties. I've got six kids. And I can't bear the thought of any of your children getting hurt. So don't listen to them, okay? Know you're awesome just by who you are, not by what they say. All right? All right. All right. Moving on. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little snarry nose, but, you know, you can't hear those kind of things and not be disturbed because there's some sick, sick people out there. All right. Now, we've got that part done. Oh, sorry for the sniffles. The next thing we're going to do is pull this one out. Oh. I've got two my instructions, I've got two things numbered as the same step, so it's confusing me. And my brain's a little discombobulated. You know what? I've got to go offline for a second and get my brain refocused. <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. Okay, I've still got the sniffles, but now I know, <laughs> know what I'm doing. And you're going to do this step repeatedly all the way up the balloon. These two steps. You're going to take this one and bring it straight up, not to its home pin. And then you're going to take this band and pull it around. So it kind of looks like that. You can go back and forth each side or you just go up one side and then up the other. So you bring that straight up. And this one over. Straight up. It looks like this. You just reach in here and over the pin and let it go. Straight up and over, straight up, over, and I'll do it on this side. You know, I don't know if I was on camera, but you took the first two pin, you know, two first two like starter bands, bring them up here and up here. Like this one was like down here on this pin, and I just brought it back to its home pin. But the rest of them up the side like this. Straight up and over. Reach down and grab that angled band straight up and over. Pretty simple. But 
this is what makes that beautiful scroll work. I actually have another design similar um, to, on the sides, but I don't think it came out as nice as this one did, called the crop, a Cropria, or Cropia. I, don't, I found that word. It's um, it, The design reminded me of the pattern coral makes, and a Cropria is a type of coral. Yeah. Learn something new every day. <laughs> so, up, over, up, over. Okay, I'm going to go off camera, continue watching TV, but um, I'm going to try to find something a little more cheerful, because that Nightline report, whew, get hard. You know, so you're asking it to yourself, so what did she watch when she got off camera this time? <laughs> I started watching Undercover Boss, because that's a pretty inspirational show, you know, you never know who's watching and... Maybe no one will notice during your lifetime. But I believe there's a creator above, our God, who is watching. And I think we should all do the best that we have to work with every day. And go to sleep at night, satisfied that you did the best you could. You may see rewards now. You may see rewards in heaven. That's what I believe. But, you know, just do your best. That's... That's all we can ask. Yes, we compete against each other and we thrive on competition in the Olympics and being the best. But those are people doing their best. If yours doesn't meet Olympic status, so what? You know, you go to bed being all that you can be. Yay! <laughs> now I'm inspired. Okay. Next. We are going to... Take these bands here, the ones that we looped over, right here. And we're going to take the other end of them and just go straight up like this. Oh, I'm having a dizzy spell. Thank goodness I'm sitting. Too much emotional riding. <laughs> kind of went from one end to the other. So pretend I did that up all one side. Then I'm gonna do all this up one side. And I'm just gonna do like these steps, like pretending I've already gotten to the end of the loom because this is, you know, pretty basic. You're just gonna reach under and grab these, okay? So we print, we'll pretend did this all the way up to this last one here, okay? Pretending. <laughs> and then finally, after all these are done, right? So I'm pretending end of the loom. Then I did the whole length and it got to the end of the loom. The final step of looming, let's see. is just crisscrossing these last bands that were like what I think these were the first ones we put on the last okay you take the one on the left and crisscross it to the right then you do this one then you're just gonna go back and forth reaching all the way down and grabbing this and this this one and this one so yeah real basic again just after all of these bands are done then you're gonna do all of these up the loom okay hope you didn't confuse it just do all of all of these then do all of those okay and then I will show you what it looks like Okay, before, before I get finishing up with um, this design, I just want to show those who only own, you know, one loom. And if you get one of these bars for like $3 at rainbowloom.com, this is how it looks. So, you can 
place the three bars or the three braces that come with one loom as such and make a one length, one loom length of this and just use extensions. And it'll look nice. Okay. Um, I took off this because I was done and just so I don't confuse you so much, as you can see, let me zoom in a little closer. So I have all these blue bands loomed up to the end, right? And then I went back and I'm doing these gray bands crisscrossed. So I'm finishing them up. And I suppose, I don't know, probably want kind of stretchy bands, but I don't think there's any aspect of this design where if you're not like, you know, if you don't have super stretchy bands, as long as you pull everything out carefully, you shouldn't snap anything. But I'm kind of going haphazardly on these because I do know all the bands I'm using here don't tend to break. Okay, so we've got that done. And I think I have a Yes, I did bring a clip with me. <laughs> okay, so we're at the end now. And these are the last two bands. And now you're going to take this, this one band that we first placed, hold on to it. And then use a clip to grab the both ends. And I'm just going to use the hook quickly pull these off. I wish I was more coordinated in this, but <laughs> you get the idea. And now pulling off the center. I just find using the hook, I think, instead of pulling it all off, just, you know, like, like that, I think, you know, just using the hook prevents the bands from overstretching. Almost done. I think I had too much caffeine tonight. Oh, it's feeling like super jittery. Okay. There is a little bit of, of, you know, making, getting the bands aligned. Let's see, I think those two look nice and those two don't. Just kind of pull them up like that. Just playing around a little bit. We'll get them in order. So anyhow, some line up nicely and others you just kind of have to snap them into place. So I'm going to go off camera and just make sure that like the two, where's the, oh, great tool. <laughs> and if you don't have a toothpick, um, an opened up paper clip, or you can even stretch a bobby pin, you know. Just help grab these two and so they have a nice, nice little um, sequence. Oh, let's see, how does it look? Okay, so you have one that's blue with purple and one that's purple with blue. 
looks awesome. What is that? All right. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Bolivia. It's only four bars wide. Um, if you like this design or any of my others, make sure to subscribe to Deb's Thing on YouTube here. And check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. And I would be honored if you give me a follow. Thank you so much for watching.